Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Guys on Draft. We're here. We're back with another boom banging episode for you guys. Boom banging. So this week we're going to take a customer uh, or you just said that. <laughs> listener <laughs> suggestion. Um, so one of our wonderful listeners who I think watched our clip on Instagram. Yep. Uh, he goes. I, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the comment underneath. You ain't here. Uh, o Word Maccus. So thank you, O Word Maccus. And we're going to be doing the top rookie seasons in the NFL of all time. Yeah. Offense right? and defense. Offense and defense included. So basically, the best rookie performances in the history of the NFL all time. Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you watched our last show, which was Mythical Creatures, creatures. You Don't Want to Come Across, it's a mouthful. <laughs> Pause. Uh, basically, just, you know, <laughs> the bad guys you don't want to run into. Uh, check that out. I'll I'll link it at the end of this video, and then you guys can click on that and check it out, and check yeah. out our whole playlist of guys on draft because we have a bunch of them. So without further ado, we do want to spin the wheel. Rocky has the wheel ready. It's going to determine our uh, draft, draft order. order. Just so we know, in this scenario, you are Mark because I don't feel like changing. Sounds anything. good. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, controversial statement. Uh, really. <laughs> All right, so I get the one one. I, mm, hello, I I'm not gonna lie, I think this is an important. <laughs> oh, thing. also, um, let us know what to draft. Yeah, the pick one is pretty good in this draft, I'd say. But I think we're all gonna kind of <gasps> lean toward. You've got the one two. Let's go. Fuck you. Well, we already know that Rocky right there oh, is gonna yeah. lean toward well, the Browns. Yeah. But yeah. I think you might lean toward some of your players too. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure who. There's I'm not a lot of good yet, ones. But yeah, yeah. Nice. nothing, nothing historical there in that department for the Giants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> he he can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, <laughs> who do you, who who you got? Yeah, <laughs> who, who you got, got in the archives? Rocky. Yeah, I really. You feel like <laughs> so it's sad <laughs> because like I was excited to get the one one, but the, I truly am debating between. Uh, there are to me four legit. Like all time greats, uh, you know I can't. It's a lot of pressure this pick. Yeah, and and you've got some like historically great compared to, l like there are some that are still records. Yeah, and then th there are some that were just really good in their time, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, but you got to go off rookie season. Uh, yeah, no, but I'm talking about all these. So I'm gonna go with my gut because I think the other person I want will still be there. But let me make sure of that. Sounds like fear. I picture you with like a fireplace behind you, like reading a story with like the, <coughs> the glasses and the six, book that you're holding. Seven, six, All right. Six. What the so, hell? Four score and seven to oh. <laughs> I got to go. This is a bit of a homer pick, but yeah. I think we knew this. Um, I do think... He's got to be in the discussion of the greatest running backs of all time, and that is Jim Brown. It's 1957. It's a 12-game season. He had 942 yards and nine touchdowns. He's the only player as a rookie that received both the Rookie of the Year mm -hmm. and the NFL MVP. Mm -hmm. It's not been done since. So I think you kind of – it is a homer pick, but I think it's also yeah. the right pick, Jim Brown, you also the had greatest running back. 237 rushing yards in one game. Yes, he did, which sat as a record for 40 years, which is insane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's the right pick. I think I think you su successfully did that. I <coughs> wanted to take Phil's pick just to piss him off, but I don't even know what my pick is. Oh, I do. I think I I think I know what it is. Yeah, I and I'm multiple picks for I, this spot, and I'm gonna do it. So, team for he's a jolly good rookie. <laughs> Uh, second overall pick. <laughs> Wait, he said that was a good name. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more. <laughs> but, hey. this, it's, yeah. a, it's a SpongeBob reference, if Just, you know, you know. W listen, for those that aren't <laughs> behind the curtain here. Are you saying Jolly Good Fellow and then just put it right No, because yeah. in SpongeBob, when he, like, <laughs> I think it's the episode where he either starts at the Krusty Krab or uh, defeats Bubble Bass, <laughs> they pick him up and they're like, for he's a Jolly Good Rookie. Yeah. He's a child good rookie. So let me start by saying that <laughs> we have to excuse young Zaddy because he is working off a little bit of sleep. Just okay, thank a little you. Bit of I thought you were going to like say something. Yeah. 
Not yeah, sure. a little bit of sleep. And and Phil's, I think, tired too. He had a long day yesterday, so um, I might be the most coherent. Oh no, right now, <laughs> which is bad. Rock, Rocky's the sharpest one in the room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta get the jitters out. All right, so I'm just gonna go with Lawrence Taylor. LT. It's a good, just solid, solid pick here. You know, not a great person, but that's not true. <laughs> I just want to see the reaction. I yeah, mean, I mean, there's a lot. There's it's like good a, if you wanted a line of coke. Like, <laughs> we all have past Rocky. Oh. He's not Dude, doing coke anymore. Is Dude, he? Him and, is him he alive still? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought he'd be dead for sure. Wow. I mean, his lifestyle. Wow, man. <laughs> his <laughs> lifestyle. The things it doesn't, lend, it, it doesn't right. lend itself to yeah. long living. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of guys do coke in their 20s. Him and Darren Waller parties go crazy. <laughs> also another reformed <laughs> addict, but okay. Go ahead. God, I don't know. What, that music video he made, what you got to be bust, something man. for that. It smells in here. Did somebody rip one? I did not. <laughs> I did not. Holy <laughs> shit. I can't. It hasn't made its way over oh here. Oh, my God. <laughs> it I'm might, not it might, it might have been you, you, dude. <laughs> it's, your, it's your upper lip. <laughs> did you shart? No. Go you liked it. Sorry, yeah. I, let, me get, let me get the stats out. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, only rookie to win defensive player of the year, nine and a half sacks. Cool. Yeah, which I'm doesn't give sound a like credit. a lot now, but in you know, in in historically and for that time period, that guy was a machine, man. Yeah, he he's just dominant. I mean, truly like probably one of the best, if not the best defensive player of all time. I think he is actually. that is all I'm so going to say the about the Giants. What's the iconic when you when you picture LT, what do you picture him cool. wearing? Oh. Well, yeah. Giants uniform. No, no, I mean, you picture, picture him, him with like white under his nose, sure. But Phil, Phil has a picture hey, more than anything. His light single handedly brought the lightning uh, the earring. Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, dang, he was, so all the TikTok boys have to thank Lawrence Taylor. They, he yeah. was him. He was him. Yeah. He also had a interception that rookie year. That is cool. I don't think they played 16 games mm -hmm. either at that time. 81? Did, did, did and they weren't recording sat, saw, sacks yet. They started the year after he, you could say, Before they were taking he stats. prompted them to start recording sacks. As a they probably recorded, like, all these stats that we're going to be talking about today were probably recorded on that journal that Rocky has. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was, but it uh, was he not was, uh, with pencil. It was, he was something like else. rock or chalk. <laughs> he or was a quill. He was something else. A quill. <laughs> all right, so you thought, that was one of my first picks, but I have. That was your first pick. Yeah, quite I a mean, few. come on, I mean. What do you mean? That had to be it. You died a little I bit. I had two. So I you guess died a little bit when you heard LT. No, I didn't because mm -hmm. I had another one. So what other giant? Mm -hmm. It is know. actually another giant. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> you went home where I'm going home. I mean, I got it. I could go. You know what? Do, oh, Good what? idea. You prompted me because I'm going to go with the other one. No. Yeah. Uh, he won't be. The other guy won't be around when you come back. Yeah, that's all right. You at can take two. Him. At a. Two, three. I have some uh, <coughs> some some crazy picks here. Some FYI. <clears throat> okay, hold on, guys. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. We'll just go the other guy then. No, I'm gonna go this guy because I think his rookie season was pretty crazy. Mm. I try to think. Like, you know, I try to channel, like, what is Phil thinking here? <laughs> All right. Rookie season. I'm going RG3. Fuck you, man. Okay, so it was close. Yeah, I was in the right. RG3 <sighs> threw for 3,200 yards, 20 touchdowns, five interceptions, rushed for 850 yards. Yeah. And let me see how many TDs he had. On, I think he had seven TDs on the ground. Yeah, and took them to the playoffs. Took them to the playoffs where uh, a pretty – Idiotic coaching staff kind of ruined the guy's career. Mm -hmm. Offensive um, rookie of the year that year. Offensive, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be he honest. Was, as a Giants fan, that year, even though we beat them, I was scared of RG three. I have a note in here. Like, if if I was able to take him, that you know, some, some not 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 that we're like you know thankful for injuries, but they would have kind of ran the NFC East for a little bit. Uh, I think yeah. they could have. I think that. RG3, like you said, mismanaged uh, the the way that it, it wasn't that he ran. Because I think you can make the argument. I'm trying to think when he came in. He came in in 12. Yeah. That was the year right after the Giants won the Super Bowl. He, Thank you. He and then another guy kind of herald the era of the running, this type of running back. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. 
um, this type of running quarterback, but the way that they let him run, the way that they let him, that they never instructed him to slide, he took t- way too many hits. They ruined his career, but it would have been an amazing. Leave career. it to Washington to do. Well, I like mean, that. they. So yes, I think there's truth to what you're saying, but they ruined his career way more directly by making him play or allowing him to play in that playoff game because he banged up his knee pretty bad. I think a week before the playoffs. Yeah. And then, then he was immobile. Yeah, they had Washington. him play against Seattle, and that's where he tore everything in his yeah. knee. And yeah. you could, it was pretty visible. And, you know, who's the, at the helm? Do you guys remember or no? No, I was wondering. Uh, was it Jay Gruden. Gruden. Yeah. Jay Gruden, yeah. And there's was it been a, a lot of back was and Snyder? forth. Was it Snyder that. was the owner? Oh, yeah. yeah Snyder was the owner, yeah. but Jay Gruden, there's been a lot of stuff come out. They kind of went back and forth in the media about it, too. Mm. So, yeah, they screwed that up. But thanks. Nice. So, surprise, surprise Washington. Take care because I thought about him, too. Why well, I, I really yeah so like I, I was going between these two I'm I'm gonna be honest R R G three I think is every bit like I can't argue that pick I think Cam had a better rookie season he had 21 touchdowns throwing 4,051 yards 706 rushing yards and 14 touchdowns Cam Newton but the thing that I loved about him is he was durable he was yeah. a six four. 245 that could run and that's it's just rare so team greatest of all time we're going cam newton here uh, i like and this pick and yeah. i remember coming into the season people were basically saying he couldn't throw the ball downfield yeah. right yeah and then i remember week one he was just throwing bombs yeah. i remember like three long touch i could be wrong probably two yeah. But he was just lighting it up like right out of the gate. Well, I knew he had an arm because he threw that laptop he stole out of the <laughs> dorm room, and I knew Sorry. that his arm was strong enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. He, good. Another guy, good maybe one. not good the one. best guy. <laughs> Definitely the most ridiculous dresser. He's a character. Dude, the, the, hat, NFL. The, the, the hats are funny. Wow. Wow. Somebody's at my house. Oh, well. <laughs> What's his name? Nice. Milkman. Is that, is that Josh? First name Milkman. <laughs> uh, uh, Josh turn is it? Joke, uh, it's mine. Okay. It's mine. Kim's hats with the fucking hair coming out is funny to me. Like he cuts the hole up the top yeah. of the hat. <laughs> he's, you know, <clears throat> he's a character. There's only one other guy. I'm trying to think of his name. Running back for the um, Washington Redskins. Well, you can't say that anymore, that, man. Oh, Clinton Portis. Yeah, that dressed. I mean, but he was funny. He was, and he, he did was it on purpose. Yeah, though. he was ironic. Like he was intentionally yeah. funny. He was, Cam, he was in on the Cam joke. was not. Cam is just still Cam himself. thought he looked good. Yeah, still does. Okay, uh, team for he's a jolly good rookie in the second round is taking Randy Moss. Yes, this, this was going, going with between. going with a namesake here. 69, nice. Receptions, his uh, rookie year, he had 13, 13 yards, 1,313. 17 touchdowns, which is still not broken as a rookie record. And, you know, we all know and love Randy Moss, so I don't think I need to say more about this pick. Randy Moss, I remember the very first game watching him in the pros. And he had a checkered college career because he started at FSU, was the most highly sought-after wide receiver, actually never ended up playing there, then went to West Virginia, had a good career. Uh The first game watching him as a receiver, I realized this guy is the real deal. Mm -hmm. He is, he's going to change, you know, uh, the game. Didn't hurt being next to Chris Carter either. No, I think, yeah, yeah, him. And then there's another wide receiver on my list that also was helped by who they were Mm. running, you know. Chris Carter is an underrated receiver. Like, kind of. Chris Carter, I mean, I don't know where he went to college. Oh, wait, I do. The Ohio State University. (laughs) Uh, Amazing, man. That guy was a touchdown machine. Yeah, yeah, really taught him morals there at OSU as well. They did. He's, I mean, he's a fine guy. He's a believer. He wouldn't be in the uh, Paris Olympics, you know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Yeah, it's crazy. Bill and I got Rand, into an argument. I don't think that was yes, an argument. Uh, Bill was opinionated. Uh oh. About the opening ceremony. Trouble in Paradise? Yeah, I don't know. Did you see the opening ceremony? I did not, actually. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. What happened? They made fun of a lot of things. Let's put it that way. Okay, hurt, hurt, hurt. 
All right, my turn, huh? Yeah, time's ticking. Rocky's just trying to stoke stuff for no reason. All right. <laughs> stoke, stoke, stoke. Um, all right, so Randy Moss, you say. What were his stats again? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> 1,313 yards, 69 receptions, and 17 touchdowns, which is a rookie record. That has not been broken yet. 1,313 yards? Yes, this is true. 17 touchdowns. Yep. Got it. All right, so with my second pick, I'm going with a homer pick. <laughs> and I'm going with OBJ. Ew, what the hell? OBJ. Did you say what the hell? Yeah, dude. This is a bad pick. It's no, bad it's pick. not. Yeah. How how do you guys figure it out? It's a bad pick. Well, let's let's hear let's hear. Yeah, your yeah argument. you're let's not even what let's first hear of your all, argument. Let's hear your argument. My argument is that he is on, he was on pace to break Randy Moss's record. On pace. Well, he didn't play until week five. Oh. Uh, he finished in his rookie of, season. Why, so in his why rookie, didn't he play? He was injured. Mm. Was I think he was suspended. No, he wasn't. His yeah. rookie year, you idiot. I mean, I think that when you come to <laughs> New York, you're given like. All right. Anyway, so a vial of coke. So <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. It's a passage. Right who passage. started his who in thirteen? No, five seven, in eleven games. Mm-hmm. Put up thirteen hundred and five yards. With 11 touchdowns and threw for two touchdowns. Odell Beckham Jr. also had the helmet or the the catch on Monday yeah. Night Football. Yeah. That's what and made his career. Odell Beckham yes. also, well, he also made his career with 1,305 yards in his, in, in what, Hey, that games. sounds less than Randy Moss in his Yeah, it was, season. but in less games. Yeah, numbers and, and numbers. And he was on pay. Who was thrown to OBJ? Eli Manning. So he had a better quarterback than Randy Moss started with. Mm. Who did he start with? Oh, I don't know. Then he, start with, he started with he started Randall Cunningham. He was ninety eight, so yeah, it might have been Randall Cunningham. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah but if so. it was, it was a diminished Randall Cunningham. Yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah. didn't Randall Cunningham win the comeback of the year with the Vikings? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't anyway, know if it was that season though. I no, I don't think it was. But he, Eli was best Eli at that. To no, me. he wasn't. Not to me. That was like his his. Well, I mean, he had a good supporting cast. Who did Eli? What? That year. When? No, that he year. didn't. Who? He had OBJ. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's insane. That's funny. <laughs> you just went yeah. in full circle. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did in real time. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to support my argument. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Randy Moss is a better receiver than OBJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, by far. Especially rookie year. Oh, yeah. When you look at their career. But no, I don't think especially rookie year. Yeah. I think he was just as impactful. He just played less Ro- games. Rookie year OBJ was... Was special. His first four years before he got hurt, he was great. You go yeah. look at the numbers. Yeah, yeah, you look at like after the injury, he was never the same. Here, here's a question, legitimate question. Mm-hmm. OBJ Hall of Famer? No. <sighs> See, I don't it's think he is either. It's tough with the end of the career. Yeah, he got the championship though. Yeah, and if Mark were here, I feel like somebody's got to mention, you know. Well, that he likes to get pooped on? Yeah. Well, that's not, it's <laughs> never been legitimized. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, Mark legitimizes it every time he <laughs> says true. it. <laughs> but I was. There's some reports. And I think more so than just the, the numbers are there, but more so than that, I think his impact. And listen, this is a guy I hated when he left for the fucking interview he did with <laughs> Lil Wayne and shit. I hated that. But he, I'm saying he, his he, impact. He went out bad. He went out bad. He was that guy yeah. before that injury. Like, yeah. That rookie season put it like he was like shot out of I didn't expect him to. I just that. don't like to I'm gonna be honest with you. Randy Moss, I like. Like when you see the guy doing interviews, he just seems like a you know, kinda like a you know, good old boy. Yeah, but he he's wasn't fishing. like that when he was in the NFL. Good old People didn't like wait, him. Time out. No, yeah. I mean he's he I mean he's like a good old country boy. He fishes, he hunts, like it just is funny. Yeah, how but he, what does that have to do? With he's, he, he's I, like, he just seems like a like like a fun guy to be around. Go, go boy. Yeah. And part of it is he flamed out so he incredibly, did. like it with the Browns. In fact, we were. I was talking to a friend of mine who is a fellow Browns fan, and Amari yeah. has been everything we hoped OBJ would be as a receiver. Yeah, that's fair. But OBJ, I feel like, had inherently more talent than yeah. Amari. Um, Omari's just more of a blue collar receiver, and OBJ was a prima donna. OBJ is a prima donna. Yeah, watch yeah. out for those yeah. those nuts. OBJ. Hey yo, that thing was that was funny. Hey yo. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go team greatest of all time. Uh, I'm taking us way back, man. <laughs> good, 19, uh, good name. 1964. <laughs> no. This is my uh, Gail Sayers. Dang it. Um, 
I mean, you got you to take it back historically. Only 857 yards rushing, but that was in 12 games. Oh, but so he, now the, the amount of games counts? Of course it does. <laughs> okay. He had 507 receiving yards and over 698 um, return yards, including several touchdowns in the return game. 22 touchdowns, 2,272 all-purpose yards, yeah. Cal Sayers. Maybe, honestly, he was another running back that his career was cut short mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because of uh, uh, injury, uh, sickness. The first, he probably was like like old Christian McCaffrey. Yes. Like he was yeah. the first like yeah. prototype. Ooh. Gail Gail Sayers. Sayers. He was the yeah, probably, yeah. Prototype, prototype of the new era of running back in the NFL when he came out. But yeah, you're probably right. Like he's it, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, to me, it, almost nobody remembers him. I don't think that's true. Well, I, 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 I hope hmm. that's true. I never got a chance to watch him live. He was he was playing before I was born. But like when sure. when I was coming up, yeah, no, he was 64. I was born in 68. So, uh-huh. but. Yeah, when I started getting into football in the early '70s, uh-huh. he was still talked about as one of the greatest, you know, top yeah. five running backs. I think in my birth though, because you know, you think of like sweetness. You know, there's a bunch of like, there's good players historically for the Bears and running back especially. So I think Walter Payton kind of overshadows him. A yeah, bit. he does because of longevity. My argument is that if Gell Sayers had not. Uh, Ended his career early. Yeah, we'd be talking would about have him. Been, yeah, he would have been uh, all time. May, maybe would have broken every record. Yeah, I know. Like if OBJ played the first five games, he probably would have broke Randy Moss. Yeah, record. but then he would have <laughs> that flamed hurt, that out. Hurts you. Yeah, but we're only talking about rookie Flame, season. Flamed out. No, I just in a, want to point out some kind of pooping incident. Fancy. I wonder if those two are linked. Like Who? when he started his propensity to be pooped on. That's when he <laughs> went down. I think it started in Cleveland because that's when you heard about it. <laughs> Cleveland Steamer. They yeah. are called Cleveland Steamers. That's rare. Yeah. Yeah. He. I remember he posted it on Instagram, and then the caption was the poop emoji. Yeah. Like as that happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then there was like podcast clips of like the. He's, I mean, it's all hearsay, but he's an interesting guy, though. Let, let's just call it what it is. Dude, I. That's hilarious. All right, my turn, huh? So I got sniped. Um, yeah, y'all, that was your go. You, 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 got yeah. that? you got sniped twice. RG three too. I sure did get sniped twice, so I'm kind of reeling here a little bit. Oh, um, real. I, you know, yeah. I, I, I can be a good old boy. <laughs> go boy that just likes to go fishing. <laughs> just a good old boy. All right. Never meaning no harm. Oh my god. Ah, dang, dude, this sucks. Cause there's a guy that I want to take, but I think it's someone I can get in the fourth round. So I. I'm going to go with Eric Dickerson. Go with Eric Dickerson. What's the most iconic thing about Eric Dickerson? <laughs> His face mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna say like some yeah. off the field stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. He had this. He he wore these goggles. It yeah. was oh, iconic, wow. yeah. man. It's cool. Yeah. yeah uh, so, yeah. Visually, like he has like some like calling cards, and also those Ram jerseys. Like though, those are awesome. Like throwback jerseys. Love those things. Um, and then he yeah, just finished like, just up with the Colts, right? Who? Uh, Dorsett? No. <laughs> what? no, wait. no Eric wait, Dickerson. No, wait. Eric Dickerson. <laughs> <laughs> he finished up with the Colts. Uh, I think so. And yeah. I don't know, honestly, like he, this is a rare guy that was everything that, you know, is from his rookie season up until when yeah, he no. left, he was something else. No, he was awesome. Um, just a few a few stats here. I mean... At the time, his 2,212 yards from scrimmage ranked at second most ever, only trailing OJ in 1975. And, yeah, I mean, that's kind of, I mean, he set an all-time single-season rushing record in his sophomore year. So, to your credit, yeah, it just continued from there. Yeah, and they, they ran, I mean, that poor guy. I mean, he had, what, I think five straight seasons where he rushed for over 350 attempts. Like, they ran yeah, that guy. Round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson. All right, boys. It's getting a little, little bit tougher here. There's a lot, yeah. but like I don't want to go too mm-hmm. old school. Here. I think I masterclassed here with saving myself. I for think the I masterclassed here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro is cooked. I think. I'm going to go off the beaten path a little bit here. Er, 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 er. 
I'm going to go with the guy who played on the same for the same franchise as Mr. Uh, Gale Sayers there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, this yeah. is ridiculous. What? I already know who this is. No, you don't. Because this is who I was debating on. I'm going with Devin Hester. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. As a rookie, Devin Hester. I'm not a fan of this pick. I don't care. Interesting. Devin Hester's uh, five return TDs for probably the best return man in history. Mm-hmm. Hard to argue that. Including point, including the opening kickoff of the Super Bowl that year as a rookie. I mean, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. one of those. And I think even with the Devin Hester and OBJ pick, I'm looking at, like, impact. Yeah, like yeah. Devin Hester, we're looking at a guy but, that kind of set the template for, for his career. Yeah, but we never seen anything like that besides maybe prime time. Here, here's my pushback. <clears throat> yes, that is impactful. In fact, he, I think you can probably say he may be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, return. I think he is the yeah. greatest. All they talked about in Chicago when he came out was that he was a bust. Because what he was supposed to be was an elite receiver. Mm-hmm. I don't and think they say that sucked. now. It, history has been kind to him. Yeah. But the Bears yeah. were the Bears. pissed that yeah. he wasn't a receiver. <laughs> they were like, bro, well, what listen, the heck, man? You're supposed to be good at the well, other here, thing. Here's what I'll say. They're, just to respond to you, right? Rex Grossman was their quarterback. Yep. Okay. They went to a Super Bowl and it was largely on the back. Of his returning, because teams. not just his touchdowns, but his return game in general, and that defense, because Rex Grossman was not, he was gross, great <laughs> at all. He was, how dare you talk about a Florida Gator great? Devin Hester, I remember, I hated him, because there was a game in the Meadowlands where, at the end of the half, we attempted a field goal. Mm. He stood in the end zone, and caught it, and returned it with no time <laughs> on the clock. <laughs> and I love that that shit happens to the Giants at home, like all the time. You guys have like, yeah. but you know what? Miracle, but you know what's cool you know? though that we won the Super Bowl that year. But that <laughs> did happen. So Touché. you know, Devin Hester, man. Yeah, hey, good pick. I was gonna take it for those same reasons, you know, just namesake and what he did to the game. Him with these rules that are coming out for this season would be different. I'm gonna go. This is gonna be somewhat of a controversial pick, but. I do say, I like this guy. He is like, if, if I could, if I were in charge of the Browns and I could make a trade for any quarterback. Do not fucking take my pick. This in is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, in the league, it would be this guy. I do not understand. I can't logically explain why I've got such a crush on this guy. But it oh, is white guy. Air Bear, man. Greatest, uh, greatest rookie, I think, core, uh, quarterback ever. Um, 4,336 mm-hmm. passing yards, which was a record. Mm-hmm. 31 touchdowns, which was a record. Only 10 interceptions. Yep. He did go into a pretty good system. Uh, you know, he had some decent receivers. But when he was coming out of college... Everybody said this is like a three-year project. Yeah. He's he's a rough quarterback, doesn't throw the ball well. Third quarterback taken that yeah. year. Yeah, and he came in and just lit. And I'm, I am not joking. I would trade, I think, this guy on the right team with the right coaching staff mm-hmm. should be a Super Bowl winner. I, I just can't yeah. find a flaw in his game. What were you saying the other uh, j- just before about – uh, and I forget who we were talking about, but them not coming up in big games. Dak. Dak. He does. Like, when he's lost big games, it's been asinine coaching decisions by, you know, his coach, not him. I can't find a flaw in this guy. He, I'll he, push back a little bit. He that. doesn't run. He doesn't. I mean, he's not very mobile, but otherwise. Yeah, but it's kind I of mahomes Like, when he has to run, he runs, and yes. it's good. Yeah, and when he does run, he's okay. Yeah. I mean, these, these numbers like are, are MVP Sick. numbers. Yeah. 4K passing, 30-plus touchdowns, only 10 receptions. I got sniped yet again. I was going to take that guy. Um, if, can you imagine, all time. Being, imagine being a Chargers fan and like having Phillip Rivers and being like, oh, man, that was cool. What's the future look like? Kind of like probably with the Saints and Drew Brees, you know, yeah. and those fans. But in f- <laughs> those fans got Derek Carr, and they got Justin Herbert instead. So, yeah. I, I mean, that's – Chargers honestly have had – 
they're an anomaly. The amount of talent they've had as a franchise over the course of their existence, they are nothing to show for it. They are Sean Payton away from winning multiple. Yeah, or uh, Super or Harbaugh. Or Harbaugh. So, yeah, I mean, we can't, because there's so much muddled up in Harbaugh because of my hatred of Michigan, but um, I don't think he's a great coach. Oh, my God. I I don't. Why? Why? Because tell me a big game that he won (laughs) outside of the, uh, this past year, he just won the championship. Go back in 49ers. So you don't think winning the NFC championship is a big game? He lost Super Bowl. But uh, that doesn't Stanford, mean, but he I, got I, to a bowl game. You, that's he lost the, the bowl game. Moving the goalposts, right? No, that's it's not. The, the you said, biggest tell me game. a big game. He, I told you, and then you said and I he named, won the Super Bowl. And I named <laughs> two that he didn't win. Oh, that were they, even bigger said, games. I, okay. That were even bigger games. Oh, so you're just saying he hasn't won a Super Bowl? He, that's what you're saying? That. Uh, so he's won an NFC championship, a conference championship, and a national championship. And then lost the game okay, you you play the whole season the to win. Bowl, so just say he hasn't won a Super Bowl. Don't but say he hasn't won big games. He He's ha- won big games. It, in college. In the NFL. No, uh, but so the but NFL you got to take both. When's the last time both. the Browns were in the conference championship? <laughs> oh, in the All right, so late that's 80s. a big game. Hard game to get to. Yeah, he just went Tony He's Soprano that. with that. <laughs> he said, like, the way you because, like, like, got triggered. I'm not being a Super Listen, go back. I will go you back. You named he won one NFC game, and I'll name six games in college when he when he coached Michigan. Yeah. that he didn't win the big game. But prior he has to winning, also the, won it, and he's gotten to it. Okay, but you got to have a better percent than what. He, that's my whole point. In Stanford, he was good enough to get him to some of their best best bowl games. Stanford they lost. is a, is not a. I mean, come on. He Michigan, built that program. Good enough to get him, lost a big game. When was won the last one time. time before he showed up? When was the last time Michigan won anything? It was not that long ago, ninety eight. That's not that long ago. No, that's it's not that, historically ago. not that long ago. No, that's crazy. I mean, if you win a you're, national, you're poo pooing the guy that won the national championship I, and conference listen, championships. Jim Harbaugh, unless he changes, unless he changes the way he coaches, he's doing just fine. No, <laughs> he is a run first in a passing league. If he does, if he runs, Gus uh, Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, the Chargers like. He ran Michigan last year. They will be also rans in the NFL. This is a passing league. He doesn't have JJ McCarthy anymore. No, no, he's got he he's got no God. excuse. He's he got Air God Bear quarterback. Yeah, also. that's my fear. I, it's a little bit of a like I think Air Bear is going somewhere to I die. I don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. he Anyways. basically turned around Alex Smith's career. He made uh, Kaepernick a household name. When he Kaepernick, left, Kaepernick, went. Kaepernick was a novelty that worked for a couple of years. Who made it work, Kaepernick or him? Kaepernick, Kaepernick, Kaepernick went Pure to skill. school where Cincinnati. Kaepernick. Okay, nobody no, he was. Didn't go, he didn't go to Cincinnati. Yeah, where did he play? It was in Cincinnati. Where was it? New Nevada. It was somewhere out there. Lost UNLV. No, uh, it might be. I was Nevada. gonna say. I was gonna say Cal, but I know it's wrong. No, it wasn't Cal. Yeah. No, I was saying he wasn't a guy. He listen. He started Alex Crazy. over Kaepernick. Alex was a first round pick and he was the starter. Yeah. And then he, he They drafted Kaepernick. What are you talking about? He lucked into it and Kaepernick, oh because God. of his running ability, was you like an RG three. He was okay. a unicorn. It's okay. I, I do hate the guy. That's right. <laughs> hey, if he wins the Super Bowl, Crazy. you're probably looking at like the best coach of all time. Nah. Come on. Accolades? Get out. Get out. Accolades wise, yes. Get out of here. Championship in college and then moves to the NFL and then wins the Super Bowl? Nah. His brother's a better coach. Nevada. He went to Nevada. Yeah. I think accolades wise, he would have an argument. I don't. No, his brother's I, I, a better coach. Yeah, but so. his, his brother has run won Super Bowls right. with less talent. Yes. All right, you ready? Yes. Yeah. So is it? Yeah, we're we're running long it? here. <laughs> mine right. It's mine right because you just went. Yeah. yeah. I guess when you do a football thing, this is we got yeah, to tie it up. We, well, we have opinions. I'll be quick. Uh, I got sniped yet again. I really want a quarterback on here. It was going to go Andrew Luck, but the interceptions are running. crazy on that. So I'm going to go with Dan Marino. 20 touchdowns, uh, 2,000 plus yards in nine games. Pretty good. And then, of course, we all know Dan Marino as being kind of like the Aaron Rodgers of that time, you know, like talent wise, like the best talent. So, yeah, going with Dan Marino. Dan Marino's a good pick. I had him on there. Although, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to argue this. There's a couple other quarterbacks you could have gone for, too. I'm not going to mention them now, because, but I like Dan Marino. I was going to take Justin Herbert. Dan, Dan Marino, 
what Super Bowl rookie se- uh, rookie season? And no, was that his rookie season? No, I don't think so. Was it? No, that was his season? second season. Second season. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was somebody who I thought this guy is going to absolutely regulate the NFL for mm-hmm. years. Well, they never put a no, team never put a team them. around him. All right, so uh, I'm going to make my short and sweet. Team welcome to the NFL is going with Lawrence Taylor Light, going Derek Thomas, mm. who tragically lost his life in a car accident. But Derek Thomas was just about as close to being Lawrence Taylor as you could get. His rookie year, he had overnight. I think nine and a half credited sacks. But more so than anything, he just kind of came into the league very much like Taylor did and was just a, an issue. Like, he mm-hmm. took away half of the field if you were playing against them and trying to uh, do anything in the passing game. I remember playing playing uh, Super Tecmo Bowl, and if you didn't pick the Giants, you picked the Chiefs just so you could rush off the edge with Mr. Derek Thomas. Derek Thomas. Yeah. R.I.P. Rip. Yeah. I like this pick. Yeah, you do. I think, um, you know, anytime you do this draft, like my thought is, do you go more current players or do you look at the true historical? So I'm going to go way back again. Uh, This guy, if he did this season now, would be in every commercial, be voted defensive player of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, 57 tackles, but that was from the cornerback position. Listen to this, though. 14 interceptions. That is a rookie and an all-time record. Yeah. It's all all, all interceptions. Yeah, it is. And who's been the next? I mean, who's been the next closest? I just think of the dude last year uh, on the Cowboys that just had the touchdowns. Yeah. But that's just like, I think that's an anomaly. I think the guy that I believe he played, is either Dallas or the Redskins with the stick'em. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was his name? Lester? Lester Molest- Molester? Le- <laughs> no, anyways. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> this guy <laughs> defined what the modern cornerback was, and he had the coolest nickname, Dick Night Train Lane. Lane. Mm. And uh, we're going all the way back to 19... Um, Think about it. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. 64? <clears throat> 1964, um, hey? Yeah. Think about that. 14 interceptions, 12 games where they threw 40% less than they do nowadays. No, it's very it's very impressive. I cannot hate on this as well. So Dick Knight Train Lane. The Beatles were the most popular thing in 1964. Says AI. I'm going to go with Jamar Chase. Putting some some youth on my team. Uh, let's take you back, way back when, to 2021, where he had 81 receptions, almost 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns. I mean, there was a lot of debate between, like, you know, do you go Penny Sewell, do you go Jamar Chase? Like, what do you want to pair Joe Burrow with offensively? And I think it kind of worked out for them. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, and you got to think about them not only – well, him getting a second-team All-Pro, but going on a Super Bowl run is crazy for the Bengals at that time. That was before – we know the Bengals to be with the Bengals of, of now. So he kind of he kind of kickstarted that because Joe Burrow and T. Higgins were there, but they didn't make a Super Bowl. So, you know, insert Jamar Chase having the year that he had. And I just I think one of the premier talents, obviously, at wide receiver. Yeah, I think he's um, he's the guy that reminds me most of Randy Moss. Like he is a game changer when he's healthy. And I think he's dealt with a lot. Hasn't been healthy. Hasn't had his quarterback for long stretches. But yeah, yeah. It, it is hard to argue Jamar Chase. I mean, even when he was coming out of college, like, I mean, that's who I wanted the Eagles to to get if we were going to be drafting at that spot, whether that be with trading up or who'd you guys get instead? Um, Jalen Rager? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, that year we got Devonta Smith. <laughs> wow, we passed on Justin Jefferson the year before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Yep. Jamar Chase, LSU guy, looked like just a surefire pick and has been. So, and I think that's a big thing too, especially with wide receivers. Like a lot of wide receivers, I mean, Corey Davis was like the fourth overall like wide like pick to the Titans that year. Yeah. Like there are whiffs. With the Browns. Whiffs. No, the Browns had it. They took somebody at one five. Oh, you guys took um Corey somebody Corey too. Coleman. Corey Coleman and now yeah. And, oh yeah. Yeah. And now, he's on the Giants. Now he was a number we one receiver in the USFL. <laughs> Good for Corey. <laughs> yeah. 
Is yeah. it my turn? Yep. Last pick, huh? That last mm-hmm. pick, yeah. There's right. a lot left on the table. I'm going to make your heart sing here, Rocky. I'm going to take a good old boy, Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott. Yeah. This is a hard one not to. He had a whopping 1,631 rushing yards his rookie season. Mm-hmm. 16. And I 16 believe touchdowns. 16, there it was. Yeah, 16 touchdowns. 1,600. He was modern-day Eric Dickerson, yeah. actually. I mean, the guy really came out. He... Man, I I remember watching him at oh the Ohio State, and uh, just thinking, wow, this guy yeah. is something else. Now he lost, I think, once he lost his speed, he lost his step for sure. Yeah, it kind of. Yeah, but yeah. he was another guy that was scary to have in the NFC for sure. Yeah, that was a kind of shitty year because the Cowboys looked good with a young quarterback and a young running back. I mean, Zeke finished third in MVP voting. Dak won the offensive rookie of the year. That sucked yeah. that year. And look, I, I, Zeke to me accomplished nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. actually I'm glad that happened because it's funnier now, yeah. you know, they did nothing with that shit. But I mean, Zeke was like, uh, he's another guy. I feel like they, they overran him. They, they kind of mismanaged his carries. I, I think they, I mean, you know, running backs, a tough position in the NFL, but I feel like, he got worse quick, quicker than he should have because of how they used him. But and he's that a big, rookie season, big fat guy, big, big, big chubby guy. I mean, he likes yeah. to eat. He's stout. Yeah. Yeah, he likes to eat. All right, let's recap our list. Yep. Rocky, you want to go yeah. first? I'm going to go first, and I got the greatest of all time. Had Jim Brown, Cam Newton, Gail Sayers, Justin Air Bear, and Dick Knight Train Lane. Your team sniped me twice. Yeah. For he's a jolly good rookie, took Lawrence Taylor. He <laughs> Randy every time he says that. For he's a jolly good rookie. <laughs> took uh, Lawrence Taylor, Randy Moss, Eric Dickerson, Dan Marino, and Jamar Chase. What a list. Yeah, so well, team, welcome to the NFL. Went with, I did talk, I was like this. Yeah, it was like, welcome, uh, <laughs> RG3, OBJ, Devin Hester, Derek Thomas, and Ezekiel Elliott. All right, guys, so if you like this, watch. The next show that we're putting out, it's going to be a banger. The top NFC East players of all time. Of all time. Right? And that is another uh, listener suggestion. So please give us your suggestions and we will try to get them done. All right. We love you. Follow us on, I almost forgot to tell you, follow us on all our socials at GON Podcast. Like and subscribe to this video. Hit the notification bell so you know when we put something up that is new. And tell us what you want us to draft. Said that. Thank you. Bye.